Hey everybody, Patrick here from One Shot Kill It Media and today I've got another product unboxing for you. The product we're going to be taking a look at is the new Adaball scope that just came out. Uh, the name of this scope is the Nomad. It's a 3 to 12 by 44 scope. Uh, this is going to be used more for your hunting, uh, long range tactical shooting, uh, bolt gun applications and you can also use it on ARs as well. Uh, but just kind of cool to see Adaball moving into that, that hunting end of things and that bolt gun end of things. So I think it's going to be pretty cool. Let's uh, not waste any more time. Let's go ahead and pop this baby open. Here we go. All right, folks, here we go. So we've got the Adaball Nomad Scope. Let's go ahead and pop this box open. Here we go. Nicely packaged. Go ahead and show you that quick Just set it down over here all right so let's take a look at what we've got in the box so we can obviously see there's a scope in there we've got looks like a little cleaning lens rag and let's move this to get it out of the way a little bit here all right so this is a hood for the scope little cover for that got some holes machined into it threaded as well so you can see it so we'll go ahead and show you what it looks like with that on as well put that there all right so let's get down to the good stuff <laughs> all right we've got a little manual here specifically for the nomad got ourselves an Adaball sticker hell yeah Got a couple little, let's take a look here. Yep, these are little Allen keys. Here we go. All right. And looks like that is it for the contents of the box. So let's go ahead, get that out of the way. We'll want to take a look at this in a little bit. But let's get this scope out of the bag. All right. Here we go. So as you can see, we got the bikini caps on there <laughs> which are nice I I'm a fan of the you know the flip up caps if you're gonna have caps on a scope but I mean these do the trick just quick and dirty so let's go ahead and take that off of there all right so that's removed and we can take a look at the actual scope itself looks really nice if you ask me overall so let's take a peek here just to give you a rundown of what we're looking at. This is your adjustment here for illumination. You can do a red illumination or green illumination. We've got a little battery compartment right there on top of that. We've got our adjustment here in terms of magnification. All right. We've got our parallax adjustment right here, elevation adjustment, windage adjustment. And I think these are locked down right now. It looks like they have a lock feature. So I'll double check that and see. I'll have to read the manual a little bit as we go along and just give you a look at what we can all find out about this scope. I'll give you a little look down the uh, the lens here, I'll give you a little look down the eyepiece quick just so you can see what the reticle looks like so overall looks pretty awesome so far just right off the bat feels nice, it's got a nice weight to it um, not overly heavy but it feels like it's it's made well um, so you've got the little label here so Nomad on this side, a 3x12 or 3 to 12 by 44 I should say and then again made by Adaball. So let's go ahead and uh, do a little reading here on this actual scope itself so we can learn a little bit more about it. Pop our manual open here. Alright so the Adaball Nomad 3 to 12 by 44. Alright so this is specifically designed for the most discriminating hunters and shooters. Adaball Nomad 3-12x44 offers the highest levels of performance and reliability 
with features such as a four uh, power optical zoom side focus and generous long eye relief and most important thing here is this is backed by Adaball's lifetime warranty um, and then let's take a look here it utilizes a simple uncluttered illuminated v-plex reticle with BDC bullet drop compensation making the Nomad ideal for any hunter please read the entire manual before you use your new optic well there we go <laughs> All right, so let's take a look at this here too. Uh, reticle focus adjustments. The Adaball Nomad 3 to 12 by 44 scope uses a fast focus eyepiece. This allows shooters to quickly and easily adjust the focus on the rifle scope's reticle. To adjust the reticle focus, look through the rifle scope at a blank white wall or up at the sky. Turn the dial in or out until the reticle image is as crisp as possible. So we would just make that adjustment here on the back looking at the wall just to make sure that it's set to where we need it. All right, rifle scope adjustments, so your windage and elevation adjustments, that's what we're looking at here. Lift the turrets to turn the adjustment dial in the appropriate direction up or down or left or right indicated by the arrows. Move the dials in the direction you wish the bullet's point of impact to change. Push turret down to lock in place. Once the rifle scope is set to the desired zero, use an allen key to remove the turret caps and align the zero on the turret dial with the hash mark on the body of the rifle scope. Replace turret cap and retighten with tool. Do not overturn. Now the clicks are scaled in a quarter MOA measurement, so each click will move the point of impact by a quarter MOA. And then again, this is always worth reviewing here, if you take a look. Quarter MOA closely corresponds to quarter inch at 100 yards, half inch at 200 yards, three quarter inch at 300 yards, taking four clicks to move the bullet's point of impact approximately one inch at 100 yards. All right, so let's just take a look at those adjustments here. So let's lift up, there we go, and now we can make our adjustment. So we get that positive click and feel any time that we move it on the scope. And we can push back down to go ahead and lock. There we go, I can't move it, can't change it. Let's do the same thing here. Popped out. Make my adjustments, lock it back down. So pretty cool across the board there, I like that feature. And then, like I was saying before, We've got these little locks on here. So what we would do is after we actually get zeroed, we can unscrew this, change the cap back to that zero position for the little marker there. And then we know that we can go back to our zero. We have that set. So pretty cool. I like that. All right. Side focus or parallax adjustment. Um, just want to make sure that the reticle is correctly focused by focusing over here initially. And, I mean, that's pretty self-explanatory. I mean, you just mess with it until your target's clear. Um, let's take a look here. Variable power adjustment. To change the magnification, turn the magnification ring to the desired level. This is your magnification ring again right here. You just turn that according to whichever you'd like. You can max out at the 12. Let's see if I can get this to focus in here for us. You've got anywhere from 12 all the way down to four, or I'm sorry, 12 all the way down to three. There we go. All right, so the Nomad has a specific reticle system here. It's a second focal plane reticle, or SFP. Uh, this is also referred to as the rear focal plane system places the reticle to the rear of the erector assembly or zoom mechanism. This is the most common reticle system and is found in most hunting optics. Because the reticle is behind the zoom mechanism, the size of the reticle is constant and does not change when magnification is adjusted. This will make the reticle appear to consume more of the target on low power. On high power, the reticle will appear to consume less of the target, which is beneficial for long range and precision shooting. Since the reticle size never changes on SFP systems, it is important to note that the reticle measurements will only be correct on one specific power. For the Nomad 3 to 12 by 44, the measurements are correct at 12 power. 
There we go. All right, so, and with this reticle here, the Nomad 3 to 12 by 44 utilizes a simple laser etched V-plex reticle with BDC featuring dual illumination in red and green. This feature, this reticle design is ideal for hunting and shooting at various ranges where estimating holdover is concerned as it helps eliminate the guesswork and holdover windage corrections. All measurements are in MOA. All right, so then a couple other key features just to keep in mind here with this scope specifically. Um, it's multi-coated lenses. It's got the gas in it to help keep you from getting fogged up. It's waterproof and recoil proof. Comes with a lifetime warranty. And again, second focal plane, laser etch reticle, dual illumination in red and green with five brightness settings on each. So that's the basic rundown of this thing, features and so on. And I can tell you right off the bat, it looks like a kick-ass scope. I think it's going to be fun to shoot with. And it seems like a quality product just across the board. So that's what we have here, folks. The Adaball Nomad 3-12 by 44 rifle scope. Next, let's take a look at that actual reticle and uh, take a look at the illumination settings and so on too. Here we go. I'm just gonna grab one of these CR2032 batteries, little sort of wafer batteries, pretty common in a lot of different optics. Set it into this Nomad here, and then I'm just gonna go ahead and tighten down the cap here again. As you can see, the cap here itself, see this will focus for us. Has a little o-ring there seal out moisture so let's go ahead and put that back on all right okay there we go so as you can see here we've got the cap tightened down o-rings in place and right now we just have it set on zero basically or uh, the r <laughs> and so either way we turn this we're going to get either a red illumination or a green illumination. So what I'm going to do here is um, set this down. We'll point it against a white background and uh, show you what the different illuminations look like according to each setting on here. So we'll do red and green one through five for you just so you can take a look. All right, here we go. All right, folks, so we've got a basic outlook on all the main features of the scope itself. The last thing I want to show you is the hood. So let's go ahead and put that onto the scope here just so you can see what that'll look like once it's on. All right. Let's get this in frame for you here. So that looks nice. I like the little machine holes in there, that's kind of cool. Gives it a little different look overall. But yeah, overall nice looking optic here. <laughs> All right, everybody. Thanks for tuning in here on the uh, unboxing and feature review of the brand new Adaball Nomad scope. The scope seems like it's going to be a ton of fun. I cannot wait to get this mounted onto a rifle and do a range review for you. Uh, built really nice, crystal clear glass, awesome features. Across the board, I don't think you can ask for much more out of a scope that comes in at this price. So again, very excited with this product. Um, as always, folks, thanks for tuning in here with us. Uh, if you haven't already subscribed, please do. Uh, we need your support to continue doing this project, building relationships with companies, getting products in to go ahead and review for you, um, and giving you this good information before you decide to spend your hard-earned money on it. So like always, please subscribe. 
And uh, if you have already, thank you so much for your support. Also, please share these videos with friends, family, anybody else that's you know thinking about products, talking about products, whatever it may be. You know, get it in front of them and let them know that you know there's people out there researching them for you already <laughs> to help you out and make those educated decisions on the products that you use. Um, also, like us on Facebook, follow on Instagram. Just uh, as long as you stay in touch on those different platforms too, you'll see different you know, pictures, videos, everything coming through. We do a little bit of different stuff on every one of those platforms, so make sure you're uh, you know, subscribing or liking to all of them. Um, again, looks like it's going to be a kick-ass product. We'll get it on a rifle, do a range review. We'll have that coming real soon for you. Thanks again for tuning in, everybody. Have an awesome day, and we'll see you later.